information out there about online marketing. And don't get me wrong, if you're not on social media right now, you're missing out big time. However, it's really important to have your customers find you locally. So here are some marketing tips that you can do while offline. Create a really nice postcard and have your staff write their name on the back. Now have them go to local businesses and drop those flyers or postcards into the counter so people can see it with a discount. And once the postcard reaches back to your spa, they get the appointment. For your technicians that offer multiple services, have them have a coupon ready for their clients. For example, if someone comes in for a manicure, have them hand out a coupon for their customer at the end of the service saying, hey, thank you so much for coming in today. Here's a coupon for next time you wanna try a massage. Make sure that coupon is really pretty and it feels to the customer like a gift. So make it wrapped and pretty. And that's a way that you can have a customer that only comes in for one particular service to try other services. Whoever checks out the client should be asking, would you like to book your next appointment? Or if you want to go even further, say, hey, would you like to come back in four weeks? We have a two o'clock available and a six o'clock. Or we can do the day before or after, whatever is best for you. Remove as much decision making from your customer as possible. Create a pen for your staff to wear that read something really indirect. For example, ask me, or did you know? The customer is gonna be really inclined to say, hey, what's that about? At that point, your staff can explain to them your referral program, can explain your loyalty program. So that way you're not being pushy and trying to explain things to the customer. They're really asking for your pin. So it's a really subtle way to do it. And then at checkout, we can have a brochure that explains your referral program or explains your discount policy so that they can take with them because you already explained most of it to them. You can put out balloons in front of your spa or salon saying walk-ins welcome. So when your staff has free time or has a big gap in their day, have them go out and put those balloons in front of your spa to attract walk-ins. There's likely a lot of local events in your area and you should be really looking into participating. There are a few types of different events, but it is a really great exposure for your business in a local level. You can go to events to showcase your business. Grab one of your massage therapists or if you're just working by yourself, grab a chair and do people's hairs or do their makeup or give them a five minute back massage. And a really good idea to track your success on that, can people for a discount or a free add-on to one of your services so you can track how many people are coming back and see if it's worth it to you to continue doing those events. You can also do volunteering events and this is a really great way to show the, the community that you're giving back. You can go to elder homes and give them a makeover or you can go to hospitals and help people feel better about themselves. Just make sure you promote that throughout your social media or making a flyer about it and telling people about it so that you get that recognition for doing those events and it also make you feel really good. You probably have a lot of local newspapers and magazines. What you can do is write a story about what makes your business better than the competition or write something about a new service that you're offering that provide press releases to the news in your area. Newspapers are always looking for information and news that they can use. So this is gonna be a really great way for you to be out there in the news. It's gonna add credibility to your business, give you an expert status. Make sure you phrase that not as a sales pitch, but as a story. What other offline marketing tools are you using? Let us know in the comments below.